Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Pachyari syndrome. Pachyari syndrome is a very rare condition affecting 1 in a million adults. Now let us see about the etiology of Pachyari syndrome. It is caused by thrombotic occlusion of the hepatic veins. Pachyari syndrome is associated with polycythemia vera, pregnancy, hepatocellular carcinoma, blunt abdominal trauma, oral contraceptive use and paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. That is, patients with these conditions are more likely to develop Pachyari syndrome. Now let us see about the pathology in Pachyari syndrome. Liver shows centridoblar congestion and necrosis with sinusoidal dilatation. There will be eventual development of centridoblar fibrosis. Remember, initially there will be centridoblar congestion followed by centridoblar fibrosis. We can also find thrombi in major veins of liver. Now let us see about the clinical features of Pachyari syndrome. There will be tender hepatomegaly, jaundice and scleral express, splenomegaly, vomiting, ascites, visible abdominal and back veins when standing, fetal edema, absence of jugular venous distension. It is important to remember that jugular venous distension will be present in right heart failure. So, absence of jugular venous distension can be used to differentiate Bertiari syndrome from right heart failure. Bertiari syndrome may lead to eventual liver failure. Now let us see about the imaging findings in Bertiari syndrome. We can detect hepatic venous or inferior vena cava thrombosis on Doppler ultrasound or CT scan. This picture shows CT scan of metastasis of liver leading to Bertiari syndrome. This shows the clot in IVC which is characteristic of Bertiari syndrome. Remember we have already discussed that hepatocellular carcinoma or liver metastasis are a risk factor for Bertiari syndrome. Lab findings in Bertiari syndrome show elevated liver function tests. Now let us see about the treatment of Bertiari syndrome. The various treatment options include balloon angioplasty, thrombolytic therapy into hepatic vein, surgical bypass of obstruction, diuretics and salt restriction for ascites. Now let us see a clinical case to understand the features of Bertiari syndrome. A 45 year old man with a history of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria presents to the clinic with severe right upper quadrant abdominal pain. He tells you that he has been vomiting on and off for the last two weeks. On physical examination, you note jaundice, painful hepatic enlargement, splenomegaly, mild ascites, visible abdominal and back veins when standing and pedal edema. You order serum studies that are noteworthy for elevated liver function tests. Duplex ultrasound shows evidence of thrombosis of hepatic veins. In this case, if you notice, the patient is an adult. He has paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, which is a risk factor for Pertiari syndrome. He also has features of Pertiari syndrome, that is tender hepatomegaly, jaundice, splenomegaly, mild ascites, visible abdominal and back veins when standing, and edema. Lab findings show elevated liver function tests and duplex Doppler ultrasound shows evidence of thrombosis of hepatic veins which are all characteristic features of Bertiari syndrome. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe. Your subscription will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you.